Hey YouTube, Keegan here with Tech Shows You, and in today's quick video, I'll be showing you guys an early alpha version of the TouchPal keyboard for iOS 8. Now this is alpha version 0.2, and I'd like to give a big thanks to the folks over at TouchPal for allowing us to show you guys this hands-on video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in and go hands-on with the TouchPal keyboard for iOS 8. Once the keyboard has been downloaded, it's very, very simple to install. You're simply going to go to settings and you want to navigate to the keyboard section of your settings pane. So I'll go back right here so you guys can see exactly how you get there. It's pretty simple. You go to settings and then general and you just scroll down a little bit to the keyboard section. And then once you get there, you tap on keyboards at the very top and you can just add a new keyboard just like you do any language. And as you guys can see right here, we have the third party options right here. So we can touch the touchpal keyboard and add that right to the device. Once that has been added, it will work anywhere that the keyboard works. You simply tap the globe icon to get to it. As you guys can see right here, it's already open and we can see the touchpal text here on the spacebar. Now the touchpal keyboard is cool because it uses the swipe functionality as you guys can see right here, where you simply draw over the letters that you want to spell out your word and it tries to figure out what word you're trying to spell based on what letters you drag over. Now as you guys can see right here, you simply just drag between the letters and you can pick out a word. So here I'm typing out, this is the touchpal keyboard. Now as you guys can see, what it does is it puts out the word after you type the next word. So it kind of gives you a preview of what word's going to be coming up next, and then it goes ahead and finalizes that once you get the next word put in. Let's go ahead and move on into the Notes app so we can get a more thorough testing of how the keyboard actually works. For the first little test here, I'm going to go ahead and write out, my name is Keegan. Now as you guys can see right here, simply swiping across the words my name is, it gets it pretty perfectly. There's not really any issues with this. But however, it doesn't seem to be, be pulling from the uh, autocorrect dictionary of the iPhone, so I can't figure out what I'm trying to say with my name. I'm going to use the name John for now, as that's a pretty easy name to write out in the app. So here, as you guys can see, I'm able to write out all of these words with really no issues, because these are all pretty common words. It says, I am writing with the TouchPal keyboard. As you guys can see right there, it got pretty much all of that. And then I went on to say on my iPod Touch running iOS 8. So as you guys can see, it's a little interesting how this works because it doesn't put up the word as you type it. It puts up the next word that you type, and then it puts up the previous one when you type up the next one. As you guys can see right here, this is the default iOS 8 keyboard with the predictive text, and you can just type normally, and it still has the predictive text across the top, you just don't get that swipe functionality. I can then switch back by tapping the globe icon, and then I can go back to this keyboard, which you can use for typing, but as you guys can see, it doesn't quite have an autocorrect function fully implemented, so it doesn't necessarily figure out everything that I'm trying to say and correct things when I mess up my typing. And of course, when you mess up, you can use the built-in iOS uh, text correction and select and copy and paste and do all those things. That's not a function of the keyboard. Now, as I said, it does still have the predictive typing. So on the top, you can pick from the words, but as you guys can see, it does, I'm just going with the middle words here. So I'm picking whichever one's in the middle and it kind of goes through like a loop of the same words over and over again. So this feature isn't really fully implemented yet, as you guys can see, but that's definitely going to be awesome. If you've ever used an Android device with a keyboard like Swipe or TouchPal or something like that, you know this feature and you're very used to it. Now, as you guys can, let's watch me type right here. As you guys can see, it doesn't show what you're typing while you type it. It kind of shows the predictive text down at the bottom. But let's say that you mess up a word, which I'm going to go ahead and do here in just a moment. But for now, we can just see kind of how the functionality works. It just sort of doesn't put up the word right away as you type it, which is very difficult to necessarily write out a word. And I would assume that this is going to end up being a feature that's added. It's the fully typing. I don't know if this is how it's supposed to be or if this is just an issue with it for the moment. Because like I said, this is a very, very alpha version. And of course, I don't want to be uh, judging the app based on this because I'm expecting to be very, very buggy. I'm running an iOS 8 beta as well as an alpha version of the keyboard. So obviously this is in no way judging the stability or the usability of it. This is just showing you guys kind of the main features and what we can expect in the weeks and months to come as it gets better and better as we get closer to the iOS 8 release. Now for words that it can't automatically predict, as you can see while I'm typing it, it shows what I'm typing in the predictive text bar, but then I don't really have a good way to edit it until I confirm the word and then I can go back and fix it as you can see right there. And honestly, it's not that bad for typing, but for now, obviously, I'm going to stick with using a device that's on iOS 7, first of all, and I'm going to stick with the stock keyboard for now, just because of some of these little issues that I've been seeing with it. But I'm definitely going to be updating to each of the beta, and I'll actually be commenting below, letting you guys know kind of what's changed and what gets better. And I might even make a follow-up video in a couple weeks showing you guys what's getting better and better as it progresses, so you guys can kind of see how it's definitely going to be working. 
And again, this is not a review of the functionality, so please don't take this as me judging the app. This is just me showing you guys a hands-on of the non-public alpha version, so you guys can kind of see how it's going to be coming along and what you guys can expect. I'm really, really excited about Apple's decision to add third-party keyboards to the iOS devices, and I hope you guys are too. This has been Keegan from Tech Shows U, and I will see you next time.